uh, I really appreciate it. But most of all, I appreciate all of you taking time out of your day to take back your government. There are more people here today. There are more people here today than there are in the United States Congress. And I believe you have more power to change the direction of our country than they do. My, my hope through this whole debate is that everyone in Congress, Republicans, Democrats, House members, Senators, come back from this August break more afraid of their constituents than they are of the special interests that control Washington. I figured out a couple of years ago when I was in the Senate that I, were, I was not going to convince my colleagues, Republican or Democrat, to stop spending, to stop borrowing, to stop raising taxes, to stop taking over different parts of our country that the federal government has no business taking. I knew I couldn't convince them. But I found out if I get on TV or radio talk shows, or if I show up at town halls or tea parties, if, if I talk to the bloggers, if I do everything I can to move around the mainstream media and get directly to the people and say, help me, that I'm outnumbered in Washington, but me and millions of Americans can change anything we want. And we're starting to do that on a lot of fronts now in Washington. So I, I thank you for being here, whether you're Republican or Democrat, whether you're independent, whether you agree with me or disagree with me. The fact that you've come out here today has, has helped the whole cause. So the point is not to agree with me or just to get accolades, but to show up as Americans, to show your power as Americans, remind all of us and the whole country, those watching on TV, that this country does not belong to the politicians in Washington. It belongs to you. It belongs to the Now, there are a lot of things that we could talk about, a lot of issues in our country that we need to address. But most of you come here today because the big issue across the country is this debate about health care. Now, I want to make sure you know that the debate is not whether or not to do anything or to do something. The debate is whether or not we have the government control our health care or do we make what's working work better so that more people can get coverage and that every American has the opportunity to own, to afford, to keep a health insurance policy, that everyone has access to health care. That's my goal, and I think that's the goal of most of the people that are here today. The question is, how do we do it? my perspective, because you know me as an elected official, but I was a small businessman until I was 47 years old and ran for Congress. I probably wouldn't have if I thought I would win, but I ran, and my primary agenda, my main priority since I've been in Congress has been to reform our health care system. So when they put up spots on television to try to say the men has no plan, I can show you 10 that have been introduced. I can show you five since I've been in the Senate and that Barack Obama voted against all of them. Because as a small businessman, I had to buy insurance when I was just one person, when I was 20 people. As a father of four, I had to buy insurance for children with pre-existing conditions when they weren't under my insurance policy. As a businessman, a lot of my clients were hospitals and physicians, a lot of them in rural areas where it was hard to recruit physicians because most of their patients were Medicare and Medicaid, and the government does not pay doctors enough to stay in business without private insurance. I know a little bit about the health care industry. Let me just tell you what I'm for, and then I want to talk about the bill that is being discussed now by the President and the majority in the Congress. Because my goal is that everyone has access to health care. But you, we have to remember that 80-85% of Americans have a health plan that they're happy with. There are a lot of senior citizens on Medicare. The plan that's been introduced would cut Medicare. We can't mess with Medicare. It's a promise we need to keep. And, and 
if people get insurance at work, we shouldn't do anything to discourage employers from offering insurance at the workplace. We need to make sure all those incentives stay in place. But the, the health care freedom plan which I introduced, which was a compilation of several things that I've introduced before, does a few things and I'll just mention them and then I want to get more comments from you. First of all, the plan recognizes that if you don't get insurance at work or through Medicare or through Veterans and TRICARE, you're getting ripped off. If you get insurance at work, you don't have to pay any taxes on those benefits, and you should. The employer gets to deduct all they spend on health insurance as a business expense, and they should keep doing that. But if you don't get your insurance at work and buy it on the open market, we don't even let you deduct it from your taxes. My plan would give fair tax treatment. It recognizes that if you get insurance at work, just like I do, I get a big tax benefit. My plan starts off that if you're an individual who doesn't get your insurance through Medicare or Medicaid or private insurance, we'll give you as an individual $2,000 a year as a health insurance voucher or a family $5,000 a year to buy health insurance. We need to do more because health insurance is too expensive. The one thing we can do, and the President and the Democrats talk about the need for competition. They say the only way we can get competition is to have a government plan that's subsidized by taxpayers compete. But folks, that's ridiculous. Because right now, they will not allow interstate competition between insurance companies. They won't allow it. I brought up the bill. It's called Health Care Choice. Barack Obama voted against it. Right now, if you live in South Carolina, the only place you can buy your health insurance is South Carolina. You can't buy from North Carolina if you find a better policy that's cheaper. You can't buy from Arizona or another place that maybe doesn't have all the mandates that one state does, but it has what you want, and it's less expensive. Right. What we need if we want competition is not some public plan or, or some co-op that's really a fanny man at every state. What we need is to take down those barriers, open up interstate competition, and make hundreds of uh, insurance companies compete with your for your business, and make every state it would force state legislators like in New York that have 50 mandates on policies. Their policies are twice as expensive as Pennsylvania that's next door. It would force state legislators to be realistic about what they require in insurance. Folks, there's more we can do. My plan would have tort reform or would stop a lot of these criminal lawsuits. plan will require more transparency of pricing from physicians and hospitals. And maybe most important, that it would create block grants to states. We set aside $25 billion to states to make sure that they have high-risk pools for people who have pre-existing conditions or high-risk conditions so that everyone in South Carolina and across this country can buy a health insurance that they can afford regardless of their condition or their health. But we don't need to do that by requiring every insurance plan to offer insurance regardless of your health status, regardless of when you ask. What we've seen is when states do that, then people don't buy insurance until they get sick. Then they get sick and they buy insurance and the cost of insurance goes way up because nobody's paying premiums when they're healthy. We can fix that with just making sure that every state has a functioning, low-cost uh, insurance pool for people who can't get it at work and can't afford it because of a pre-existing condition. There are several other things we do in this bill that would work, but this is common sense. It would make what's working work better. We don't need a government plan. Folks, can you tell me, can anyone raise their hand and tell me if you're here for this public option? Let's talk about one government plan that you consider that's well managed. Do you want the people who cleaned up after Katrina to run your health plan? Do you want the ones who run Amtrak or Cash for Clunkers to run, run your health plan? Health care is the most personal and probably the most complex aspect of our lives. And I have yet to see the federal government manage anything well. But everyone needs to have coverage, and we can do it if we set it as a goal. And I can guarantee you, I would work with President Obama or any of the Democrats if they would sit down and we all agree. Our goal is to make sure every American has access to a health insurance plan that they can afford it on and keep. We can solve this problem in two weeks if they would work with us. We don't need a thousand-page bill that tries to pull the wool over everybody 
lie in your eyes and say it's not really a government plan, but it is a government plan, and it's going to take your private insurance, it's going to cut Medicare, and I do not believe that it's the way to go. We can fix this without the government taking over health care. Thank you.